Salesforce.com is an excellent application for tracking all of your task management. Now, whether these are manually assigned tasks or tasks that have been assigned via workflow, uh, perhaps an app exchange application that you've used to assign en masse. However, there are times where you may need to assign tasks to people outside of your Salesforce organization. Now, whether these are people like partners or suppliers or even people who are just not licensed within Salesforce, perhaps from an operations or shipping standpoint, and they don't have a Salesforce license to be assigned a task to. Now, out of the box, Salesforce.com does not handle this, but with the power of sites, you can create a site that will allow external people to access these tasks. And something like this has been built by a company called Cloud Concept, called Taskit, which will allow you to assign and track Salesforce tasks for people outside of your Salesforce user base. I'm going to go ahead and install this directly into my Salesforce user instance. Log in. I can confirm the terms and conditions. And Salesforce will let me know exactly what is going to be installed into my instance. In this situation, we're going to be installing some Apex triggers and being able to develop our own site, so this will require the Enterprise Unlimited or Developer Editions with Sites Enabled. So I'm going to go ahead and install this package. And I'm going to grant access to all of my users. Of course, you can select security settings on any package you install so that you can control who has access to this new application. I'm going to leave it open to everybody. Skip over any failures, hit install. So now it's going to go ahead and install the package into my Salesforce instance. Once the install is complete, I can choose to deploy this now or deploy it later, and we'll just deploy this now. So once I've installed this package, all I need to do is to start to create my new site to set up to assign these tasks. And I'm going to do this by going into develop, sites, and I'm going to create a brand new site domain name. I'm just going to use a, a junk name here, go through the terms and conditions and register my new force.com domain. Now I can see the new site that's been created and I'll go in and just create a brand new site. I'm going to call this one my my test task site. I'm going to make this active. And I'm going to set my active site uh, homepage to update task. Now all of these instructions are actually going to be part of the package that you're installing and you can follow these instructions as you go through. So I'm going to hit save and I have set up my brand new site. Now that I've set that up, I'm just going to copy my default web address here. I'm going to need that again in a moment. I'll go over to my custom settings. And I have a new task at setting that's been added here, so I'm just going to click on Manage. And we're going to take that web address and deposit it here. So we'll just call this our uh, external URL and paste that new URL into here. And then hit Save. Now I've created my site. I've created the access to this new task. And finally, I need to make this available to everybody publicly. So once again, we'll go over to the sites area and we'll go to our new site that we created here, our task uh, test site. And I need to just simply change my public access settings. So we'll go into the public access. I'm going to edit this. And bear in mind, I'm working from an environment where there are a lot of configurations, but I'm going to go down to the custom objects. And there will be something called your external tasks. I'm going to click on modify all so that people can modify these tasks and hit save. Uh, your environment may be a lot cleaner than this one.
Now finally, I just need to determine who is going to have access to this, and we can do this through managing our users. So we're going to go down into Manage Users and Public Groups. And I can create a brand new public group, and I'm going to call this one my, uh, my Task It group. And these are the people who will be assigned to those um, uh, various different tasks. I'll just select um, a couple different different users here and hit save. Finally, we need to set up our sharing rules so that we can make this available to everybody as public read and write. So I'm going to go into my security controls, my sharing settings, and I need to go to my custom object down here, which will be my external task and I need to make sure that that is public read and write. Now we can change this to read only if you want to set it and make it a little bit more restrictive, but make sure that your external tasks are public read write. The last step is to ensure that you actually can see these different external tasks on your page layout. These fields have already been created, so we'll just go into Customize, Activities, and we'll go to our Task Page Layouts. Going to edit that page layout. Do a quick search for task. So now we're going to take our external task and our task outcome and drop these onto that page layout. I'm going to put them here under uh, other information. Now I have completely set up that configuration so we can see this in action. I'm going to go back to my home page and I'm going to create a brand new task. So this task here I'm going to send to, of course, one of my contacts. We'll use uh, Lauren as an example here. And I'll just say, um, you know, pick up items. And I can put in any kind of information I need. But when I mark this as an external task, it's going to automatically send out to this content person, or this external person. So I'm going to save that task for Lauren. When I go back to her record, I'll see in Open Activities that she has to pick up the items. When I go back to uh, Lauren's email, I can see here that I have a new task that I need to go in and pick up some items, just like you would see within Salesforce. So I can now click on that link, which takes me into the task. So Lauren can now go in and remind, remember this is an external user. She has the drop down list. She can say, all right, that's completed. Task outcome, picked up items. At the depot. And she can now save that up. The task has been updated successfully. We can now close that out. We'll go back in and refresh Lauren's screen. Now the open activities, we see that that has been completed. When I go to our activity history, we'll just go down into uh, viewing the list. I can see the pickup items is down here. The external task has been completed, the task outcome, the comments are in there. I can see the time and date of when all of this was accomplished. And I can see that that has been marked as completed. So now we can see how a task can be assigned to an external user and updated in Salesforce using the site's technology. All of this can be done with the free package